Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to auto-generate the opacity map for your iTron 8 3D animation software. So sometimes you have a third-party FBX file, just for example, any of the third-party FBX file. Right. For some other software, they just read and combine the diffuse map together with the opacity map. All right now you can see now i'm going to open my iClones and this is a third party fbx file that i want to import into iClone 8 now you see after i import the fbx file some of the opacity map it doesn't show properly just for example the eyes part and the eyebrow you can just check the material map here for example the eyebrow this is the eyebrows, the eyebrows diffuse map and what we call the base color. But then it doesn't have the opacity map. And let us try to open this. Just right click to open. Alright, just click and save it into your computer. For example, I save it on the desktop. Save. This is the eyebrow. And once it if it is already here, you open and view it, you can see actually this is a transparent part. To be really clear, you can just open by using your Explorer. Just open the desktop, you can see refresh. Or you open with any of the software, you will know that this is actually a transparent. For example, the PowerPoint. Right now, if I drag in, you can see that this is a PNG image that actually the background is transparent. But then it doesn't show the opacity map. What you can do actually, it is really simple. Just right click on that and copy and then paste it again, right click and paste it at the same place. It will automatically generate the opacity map if the background is already transparent. Now you see it automatically generate the opacity map. What else? Maybe the eye slash here. The eye slash, right click copy, right click paste, it automatically generate the opacity map. And what else? The face eye line, right click copy, right click paste, it generates the opacity map. Now everything looks properly already. What else? Maybe you feel that this eyes, the eye iris here, right click copy. Right click paste and then the eye highlights, right click copy, right click paste. Now everything already show properly, show perfectly, or the missing opacity map. You already regenerate it. If, if the texture itself have the transparent background. Because what will happen is in other software, maybe some other software like the Maya or Blender, it read the diffuse color or base color. The base color must be the combination between the transparency and also the, the base color. So sometimes in other software, it, it only read the base color map that it is the combination of the opacity and diffuse color. But in iClones, the base color and opacity are separated. So you must have the opacity map. And luckily, the iClones will automatically generate the opacity map if the base color, the diffuse map, is already have the transparent background. All right. For some other example, let's say if I go and create a probe, and then you can see that I have this tree texture. This is an image with the transparent background. Actually, we can do the same. Let's say if, if now I, I want to create a, a 3D space, I just want to have a plane. This is a plane. All right. Now I make it smaller to really make it a plane. And then next, 
you can see the base color actually it is just a picture and now i have a tree it is downloaded from the google right here the transparent background i immediately drag in the texture to substitute to replace the base color you can see actually it automatically generate the opacity map and now i click here wait i set the pivot first Now, I just flip it, flip a 90 degree. This is like the last tutorial previously, I always show you how to create a tree. Next, I hold the control to just rotate it like this. Now, it is not double sided yet. So I have to drag here down to take the, the two side, go to the material. Take the two sides so that it will show two sides and another another one also the same two sides. Now the opacity map will always auto generate if the base color if the base color map already have the transparency. This is the advantage of the icons and you can generate it really easy. No need the Photoshop. No need the the photo editing software. It will automatic sense where. Where is the alpha? Right. That's all for today about my tutorial on how to auto-generate the opacity map for your iPhone 8 3D animation software. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing. See you.